On this week's South Bank show, the public and private world of comedian Kenneth Williams. Oh, a matron, take them away. Oh. How did you take Kenneth Williams on your own? Well, it was just that we became such good friends. He said to me, what are you doing after we made this film? I said, well, actually, I'm going on my honeymoon. I was with Mountbatten in Burma. Well, I wasn't actually with him. I was on the same side. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's Kenneth Williams on the South Bank show. Sunday at 10.45 on West Country. Coming up, all the day's news and sports from ITN. Good morning, and it's another cloudy day of... Severe congestion on the M6 causing a long tailback. Sorry, I'm not available to take the call right now. Freezing temperatures. This was me yesterday, but just look at me now. Amazing, isn't it? And it's all thanks to this. The new live TV game from The Mirror. Take one of these every Tuesday after your evening meal, play along live with Strike It Lucky, and you could gain £10,000 instantly! Ooh. So if you'd like a nice round figure like mine, play Strike It Lucky. Get your Sunday Mirror and People game card tomorrow. Where would you be without Ensley? Ensley Garden Centre on the A38 at Ivy Bridge. Have you ever wondered how the little widget thing in new John Smith's draft actually works? Then you're very sad. A dangerous man. The charge before the court is attempted murder. Wages terror on a family home. You want to play this game, Timmy? But you got to be willing to go all the way. What do you want? You're a strong woman, Nora. You know, smart men love strong women. You can't believe him, Nora. You have to trust me. Mickey Rock. I really like this family, but you're pushing my patience. And Anthony Hopkins. What about us? Caught in a night of desperate hours. Tonight. Going for the WBC Bantamweight crown, Wayne McCulloch and Andres Cazares. Tonight at 11 o'clock. On West Country Now, the news and sports from ITN. Sport from ITM. Tonight's headlines. Jimmy Carter in Haiti for a final attempt to avert an American evasion. And an olive branch from the Irish PM. No United Ireland this generation. And tonight's main sports headline, Brian McClare's late goal for the champions sinks Liverpool at Old Trafford. The former American president Jimmy Carter is in Haiti tonight in a last-ditch attempt to avert an invasion of the Caribbean island. Mr Carter says he hopes to work with Haiti's military leaders to find a peaceful way of restoring democracy. A fleet of US warships is standing by off the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, ready to invade if the peace mission fails. From there, ITN's Bill Neely reports. As the US delegation arrived for this final effort to avoid an invasion, Haiti had a welcoming committee on hand. Supporters of the military regime chanting their hatred of America. Former President Jimmy Carter and General Colin Powell, hero of the Gulf War, are now trying to persuade the military rulers to leave before Haiti is stormed. To work with Haitian officials to devise a, a peaceful implementation of the policies of the United States government and the resolutions passed by the Security Council of the United Nations. As the delegation left, the hostile crowd surged, kicking and punching the official cars. Chased by paramilitaries, it sped through a capital gripped by the fear of war. The talks will center on how Haiti's military rulers are to leave. Their troops, complete with small arms and gas masks, stood by today. On the horizon, the American fleet. The U.S. said today the invasion force of battleships and 6,000 troops is now in place.
If the delegation fails, and of course we hope this will not fail, I would say that uh, a military intervention is imminent within a matter of days. Haiti's deposed prime minister says the military rulers won't fight. 99% affirmative, there will be no resistance. Mr. Carter, can we have a word with you for a second? Mr. Carter left to negotiate within the past hour. He will not issue a public statement before talking first to President Clinton. Bill Neely, ITN, Haiti. Well, in Washington, President Clinton said it was his duty to pursue every possible alternative to the use of force. But he re-emphasized his determination to remove Haiti's unelected military leaders. President Clinton went to the Pentagon today to review once again invasion plans with his military chiefs of staff, another highly publicized move to keep the pressure on the Haitian generals. In his weekly radio...